fucking head. What's up? Oh, just my head. Yeah? Yeah. You have a headache? Yeah. Okay. It's just like throbbing. Okay. Let me go get some stuff. I'll be right back. Bob, is he gonna be all right? Yeah, he's got a headache though. Oh. I'll be right back. There's been times when we've been in the woods and had a splitting headache. Today you just reach for a bottle of aspirin. But how did people treat headaches, say, a thousand years ago? Well, it wasn't aspirin they found, but salicylic acid, a compound found in willow bark. In fact, our modern day aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid, a derivative created directly from willow bark. However, don't ingest it this way because many yeah, people have strong nice. reactions to salicylic acid. Oh. And did you know that almost all our medicines come either directly or indirectly from plants? Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> Hey, you know, there's over 300,000 species of plants. Do you ever thought about why these plants make chemicals, though, in the first place? All right, so to help us learn about medicinal plants, we're here to see Dr. Mark Merlin. Dr. Merlin studies ethnobotany at the University of Hawaii. That means he's interested in the cultural uses of plants throughout history. Right now, we're walking around the Lion Arboretum, a botanical garden in Hawaii. The garden is a collection of plants from around the world. Every plant that Dr. Merlin points out has compounds that are being used today as medicines. He explains that plants don't actually produce chemicals for us. We just use them. This one over here is very interesting. It is actually native to a large island called Madagascar uh, off of Africa which has a high percentage of unique species. This one from Madagascar is known as the Madagascar periwinkle. And the, there are chemicals in this plant which have been very useful in helping cure Hodgkin's disease and child leukemia. Yeah. And it, in some ways, it's one of the best examples of plants from various parts of the world that have potentially valuable chemicals that were used traditionally in some cases among the peoples living in its native habitat, but also has been found by modern chemists to be useful as medical remedies. Interesting. Let's look at a couple other plants that like maybe people might be aware of. This is known as the kava plant, uh, generally, and in Hawaii known as ava. In the lower part, what we call the rootstock, are what we call lactones, and these are lipids, fatty-like substances. These chemicals, when, for instance, if you take a part of the rootstock and chew on it, your mouth will get numb, and therefore it was valuable for if you had a toothache. So this is one that was found by Pacific Islanders maybe over 3,000 years ago, we think, and has been cultivated by Pacific Islanders in parts of Eastern Melanesia, Eastern Micronesia, and throughout most of Polynesia, where it's been the traditional plant that is important, uh, traditional religious uses, traditional social uses, and certainly traditional medicinal uses. Don't eat anything or even taste it unless you know it's uh, healthy and consumable. You can imagine in the history of human development or our history as people that in the trial and error to find out what we could eat, there were a lot of mistakes along the way. I mean, it's logical to assume that, but stay away from eating anything that you're not sure of. It covers Ooh. the, it's called an arrow. It's made my tongue go Yeah, I wouldn't be biting into this <laughs> stuff. It's not worth the risk for your health. <laughs> That's the first lesson, by the way, for all people, all students, is never eat any plant material unless you're absolutely sure that it's edible. All right, so we've learned that many of our medicines come from amazing plants. Next time you're in the drugstore, check out the ingredients in some of the medicines. 
you might be surprised how many medicines are derived from plants. In fact, we challenge you to research online at least three plant chemicals that are used as medicines. But remember, you shouldn't be collecting herbs from the wild unless you're properly trained. Because if you pick the wrong one, it could be dangerous. So the diversity of plants on our planet represents one of the greatest resources for discovering new medicines. They have chemicals that are the result of millions of years of evolution. By tapping into these plants, we may be able to cure a lot of common ailments. Chances are, one of you could discover a new medicine from plants. So, never stop exploring your world. It's interesting. Directly from Willow Bar. Sorry. Salicylic acid. Uh, <laughs>